So after a two month long hiatus, Kaiju Universe is making its return with the massive overhaul update. Judging by the trailer alone thus far and what they revealed on their medias like Discord and Twitter, this update is going to be massive. Like gameplay wise, this is a massive update. That's It's not even the full extent of what they're adding, they said much more is going to be revealed in the upcoming days prior to the release so the game is going to be re-releasing in may by the way so expect either the first like couple days of may or like the first weeks so like i suggest i don't know send a reminder or some shit if you're really that hyped about it but yeah so i'm just gonna get the big hitter out the way real quick so i'm assuming all of you have been wondering whether kaiju universe is going to be returning with the 70 plus godzilla kaiju that were in the game prior it's sad to say that uh it's not so what they've said is that toho has not responded and you know given them a license yet. KU is going to be launching with 10 to 15 original kaijus, you know, some of them are the original holiday kaijus that were in the game prior, like Nutcracker, Mothman, Cleric Mudo, Turkey Rodan, and uh, Wendigo Crawler. I'm assuming they're gonna do what PK did and, you know, take the models they have currently and just redesign them and tweak them so they don't get copyright strike, you know, for using the said kaiju because they don't have the license yet. And obviously they don't want to get DMCA'd again. So that whole ordeal is still happening. They said they're still trying to get the license. There's still progress being heavily made on that front. But yeah, I'm interested to see, um, how, you know, the new kaijus are gonna work, or, you know, redesigned kaijus at this point. Another huge thing revealed with this trailer is the map remodel. Like, there's a whole... The whole map is remodeled. Yet, I would say, considering they said that, you know, the new map is in beta, and they're having a 50,000 G cell price tag on to enter you know i'm assuming it's either going to be a game mode or like specific servers are going to have you know the new map that you're going to have to you know pay to get in and test out but from what they've shown off this is really good like all the new buildings are like obviously 20 times better than what they were previously with the og map but yeah speaking of that the og map is still going to be there until i'm assuming you know the tests and you know the map is ready to go that it's going to be replacing the og one. compared to what we have now these cities actually look like cities and not just like a bunch of geo like geometric shapes just placed all over the place and also i think there's a weather system now coming i don't know yet it hasn't been outright confirmed like you know the aurora borealis is on the new map and I don't know whether, you know, there's other weather events, but judging by this question in uh, the Discord server that a guy asked about tornadoes and a weather system that Verit gave a smiley face as a response. So I don't know if they're going to reveal anything about weather or something on those lines prior, but I'm just going to assume that there's a weather system coming with this update. Brand new UI layout. As seen in the trailer, you know, we got full kaiju overviews. Yeah, there's obviously the description, there's statistics. You can click the stats button and, you know, go in depth about your statistics. There's, you know, different, you know, tabs for a guide to how to use the kaiju. There's skill points, your appearance, which will contain titles, which are also coming this update, similar to how it was prior to this update, which is more in depth. I'm gonna assume that they've reworked missions and they've confirmed weekly missions are coming with this update. I suggested that a couple months back, if you remember. They've also confirmed achievements, which, you know, you're gonna have your kaiju, there's gonna be specific achievements linked to each kaiju, and then shown in the trailer, once you, you know, unlock the achievement, you can get the reward, which is a title. Now, your title, as shown in the trailer, you know, you can see King of Seals, as shown by Cobal Bald. Another huge bombshell dropped here is we're getting game modes. We're finally getting game modes in this update. And some of the stuff they confirmed is really cool. 50 player team warfare. It's a massive stretch to say that there's 100 people in a server and 50 people on each team. I'm, I'm going to make the more reasonable guess that there's 25 people on each team and then people are just going to duel it out. I've been wanting a team game. I've been wanting like a team deathmatch kind of game mode for the longest time. And I'm so excited that they're adding it this update, dude. It's gonna be crazy seeing how that works in game. There's going to be ranked servers. It could either be like, you know, how it is in other games where like if you kill like a certain amount of people, you rank up. Or if, if it's just, you know, servers for the rich people, you know, the 10 million plus servers that they had previously, just, you know, 
rebranded. There's also Combat Lab, where you're probably going to be, you know, testing out your attacks, you know, how all that works, just, you know, going around, seeing how stuff works and stuff like that, you know, you know, learn combos, which are also, there's a new combo system coming with this update, as seen in the next clip, you're just going to be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, you know, just, you know, mix matching your attacks. Uh, there's also going to be, you know, the new soundtrack they've announced in prior, you know, the diving that was shown off a couple months ago is coming to the game. There's also, you know, diving with flyers now that when you dive, you're going to go faster and stuff like that. Also happy to say that the military is coming this update. You'll be able to play as tanks, maybe helicopters, jets, boats. Like, I don't know how much, you know, military vehicles besides tanks, but they've announced that there's going to be multiple vehicles you could be playing as. They've confirmed in the trailer there's going to be player versus enemy military, so there's going to be AI tanks going around and shooting you, which is going to be really cool to see. And also, like, there's a whole, like, event. Like, it's like raids, like how I suggested in that one video, like, two years ago. Like, the military is going to, like, come up and, like, like you know spawn in at a location you know try and like kill you guys so it's gonna be really cool seeing that i'm shocked at how much they jam-packed in this update like it's only been like two and a half months and they cooked up this much stuff i'm really excited to see what they're what else they're bringing with this update because there's so much more they have yet to confirm and stuff like that yeah let me know what you think about this update so far w what are your thoughts on the trailer you know all the new features that are coming to the game whether you're going to be playing the game because you know the godzilla kaiju most of them are going to be removed for now until they get the license i'm gonna end off the video there and hope i don't know whether i'm gonna be making a follow-up with the you know more recent news that's gonna come out after this recording but yeah really good stuff to see so far and i'm thoroughly hyped i'm actually like excited to see where they're gonna be going on from this i'll see you all later